friends. I look like a spice girl today, but my hair is wild. My room is wild. So I'm going to attempt to film in this corner. The floorboards will be squeaking. So I feel like I'm going to point it out 20 times, but like I'm not farting. It's the floorboard. So I have a little mini active wear haul. This is all from Abercrombie, Lululemon, and then I have a little surprise of Rose Forever at the end. But I ordered these before I went on my cruise and I want to wear them. So let me haul them so that I can finally start wearing them. So we will start with the Abercrombie stuff and we'll start with this little tennis dress I have on. Okay, I have been on the hunt for a tennis dress for probably three or four years now. None of them have really exceeded my expectations, but I feel like we're getting closer. Ideally, it kind of fits like this and then really shoots out in an A-line. I haven't found a dress that does that yet. Maybe it's me not having a defined waist. Like maybe if I did come in at some point, this would look like that, but I don't. I'm very cylindrical. I do have a tire on my waist, so maybe I'm not getting the fit in my head because that's just not my body type. Um, but I am very impressed with this. I got this in an XL. Sizing at Abercrombie is still a little kind of new to me. Everything I have from them is in an XL and it fits me well. So I went for the XL in this and honestly, I don't feel like getting the XXL would help the, um, you know, achieve the vision I have in my mind. So I'm good with the XL. So I'm not wearing a bra, but I do feel very held in and held up in here. Like I feel supported. They look good. I'm getting a little bit of cleavage. In an ideal world, I will actually play tennis in something like this, but I do think these look cute if you're just like running around going about your day. I was thinking of like, like this could be an outfit, you know, like go pick up your kids, easy day on vacation kind of a thing. Like that is cute. They did have this dress in a few colors. I went for the lilac. I just think it looks really cute. So I'm very happy with that. So like I said, I'm not wearing a bra, but you definitely can fit one under here and it will be covered. These have very thick straps, which I appreciate because again, you can hide the bra. Also, it's displacing the weight of your boobs in here. So it's not like nothing's digging and nothing's like being weighed down. So very well constructed here. This doesn't have a built-in bra in here, but it does have a seam right here to kind of catch you. Um, so you're not gonna have to deal with that like flap of extra fabric in there with a built-in bra. So this does kind of cling around my lower stomach. I would say this is the biggest part of my body. So I am getting a little cling here, but nothing like crazy obvious, girl, you got a tire around your waist, but it is, you know, a little, clingy in a place where I don't dig having attention being pulled to, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. This is super cute, very comfy. Um, it does have the built-in shorts and the shorts have a pocket. Let me see if it's on both sides. Yes, so pocket on both sides. Long enough, like there are certain lengths of short where it's too short, you're gonna get chub rub. It's too short, it's gonna ride up, you're gonna get chub rub. Like there is a specific length of short that I like. So I think these are at a good spot. Let's hear those floorboards. Okay, um, but I think these are a good spot. They don't seem like they're gonna ride up. Time will tell. This is my first time trying them on, but those are at a good spot for me on first try on. So we're getting better. We're getting in the right direction of like my ideal tennis dress. Again, I don't know if it exists, but we're getting closer. So I'm very happy with this. Um, price wise, I don't know. I wanna say this is probably around $80. I did not pay that. Um, Abercrombie was doing like 30% off of active wear. And then I found a 20% off coupon. Then I found an additional 10%. You can extreme coupon at Abercrombie. It's possible. My whole shebang was about 140 and I got like five-ish items. So if you can catch these on a sale, that's the time to do it. I was looking at the pile. I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to do some mixing and matching because I got a green thing. I got a pink thing. I got some black. So we're gonna do pink leggings and a black top. The black top, I did try something similar to this a couple months ago with Abercrombie, um, just like their regular square cut neck sports bra or top. Um, and I just didn't think it fit me well. I think it was too big and I did get the XL again. Um, but this one is the even longer line. So I wanted a long line bra top and it just didn't work. But this one is like, very long so I figured let's try this one out and then I got I think these are just two of the same leggings um just in different colors straight out of the package I really love the bike shorts I got from Abercrombie and these are the same material hopefully same cut just in the longer length so I'm gonna try these out but I wanted like a bubblegum pink these are very like fuchsia 
kind of pink but maybe that's a good thing because someone as like pig skinned as me if I wear pink I look like I'm naked so maybe like a very obvious pink is a better direction for me so we'll put these up we'll start with the top so this is the like extra long line cropped top so it's still cropped doesn't cover my butt which I usually like but like I know what I was getting myself into square cut so good cleavage I don't know about you, but I'm still trying to catch a husband at the gym, even though everyone at my gym is either 22 or 65. Um, but you never know what could happen. So, you know, a little clavage, but I'm not going to pop out of here. Um, <laughs> so I feel covered in here. This does have the built-in bra. These pants are very high. So this does have the built-in bra here to hold you in. And then the overlayer. This is... Um, compressed so like I'm held in in here I would say if you're around my size and wanted like to really like go for a jog in something like this size down to the large and then you'll be like even more held in in here but for my purposes like I think I can withstand <laughs> like a Zumba class I could probably I don't know the bike is like very like <laughs> so I don't know if I can wear this and spin but um that floor I can like Zumba in this and I won't pop out. I won't be uncomfortable. You're not gonna be sore. So I would say like low to medium intensity, definitely lifting in this. I'm um, going for a hot girl walk. Like you're good, but don't be like riding a bike in this. But lengthwise, this is what I was going for with a cropped top. The other long line, I feel like Dr. Evil doing this. The other long line ones hit me around here. And the second I would put my hands up, dead ass just rolled to here. So Again, this is my first time trying this on. Who knows if this is gonna roll up? I just hate like thinking you're covered and the second the zoom instructor's like, put your hands up, you are just fully in a bandeau top. So <laughs> I think this needs to be tested out. It's not, <laughs> what am I doing? But um, it's not going anywhere right now. But you know, you know there's sometimes you trust a garment and you're like, I'll go out in this. And then like all hell breaks loose. I don't know. So. I will test this out. When am I going to the gym next? Tomorrow morning. I'll try it out then. But it hasn't completely rolled up with me doing stuff. So, you know, good enough right now, but we will see. But yeah, for what it's advertised as, I think it fits the bill. Okay, let's move on to these pants. I'm very impressed with these. And the color isn't that bad. Sorry about the MySpace angle you're getting right now, but I did want to show the entire leg. So these go all the way down to my ankle bone. These don't have pockets. I prefer a legging to have pockets, but like for the price these ended up being after the sale, I'll live. Also, I just got the Lululemon belt bag. So like when I go out for a walk, I have something, you know, somewhere to put my stuff. Um, I really like these. So these go up really high. So I do have to hike this up just to show you. Um, but way past my belly button. My belly button's like here and these end here but very high waisted these haven't moved you just saw me doing god knows what here um no rolling but at the same time they're also not digging into me i really don't feel these on body which is good so um as a former <laughs> legging professional i would give these the seal of approval so we'll do a little squat test i am wearing black underwear but these seem pretty opaque so we're gonna test if they're opaque and if they roll down and a weird view of my ass so no rolling I can't let me look in the mirror awkwardly yeah you can't tell that I have black underwear on so very opaque um, and they're not moving so these are comfy enough to lounge in but I would definitely classify them as a gym legging they have that like sheen so while I prefer leggings with pockets for something like spin where I don't need my phone or my credit card with me these are perfect for that I think these are super cute I'm actually very happy with this pink color Yes, I'm more of a bubblegum pink kind of girl, but this is a very obvious pink. It doesn't blend in with my skin tone. So I'm very happy with this cute like fuchsia color, but mostly super impressed with this waistband. It has not moved and it's not digging. You're not going to be playing with it or have a, a red mark when you take it off, you know, later on. So very comfy, but also it's going to function in the gym. All right, next we're doing this black and green v-neck top. I have this in plain black and it makes my boobs look so amazing and it actually functions as a sports bra so you're getting like a plus boobs and you're being held in so i saw this in green and black so it was time to get that one i wish they had it in pink and then these same exact leggings um 
but in black. But I also got the short version of this. These are in um, XL regular. These are in XL short. So let's see if there's a big difference. I mean, look at that. That is so cute. Um, and this is actually not a bad length of me either. And like I said, I have this in plain black and it doesn't ride up. So I know I'm safe with this one. It is kind of dark in here, but there is color blocking on here. So it's a forest green and then black panels and then some black piping. I think this looks so cute. They did have this in a few other colorways and some solids. Still waiting on that hot pink, but like this is definitely going to be like a rebuy for me constantly if I see it in good colors just because I know it looks good and I've tested this out in the gym before and it functions well too. There's also been a few occasions where I've been brave enough to wear this just as is just going out in the world. Yes with a little jacket but high waisted pants and a top like this you look like that fit hot mom. So this one does not have a built-in bra or anything in here you are just in here, but I feel held in. This is also an XL, XL on the bottom. Everything is an XL. Um, a little, you know, a little bounce, but this will withstand a light workout, a walk, a dance class, not spin, probably not, probably not a treadmill. So just know that going in. You could probably do a light jog if you really have to in this, but walking, lifting, dancing, yoga, this is the bra for you. Also just hanging out around the house. There's some days where all my bras and all my bralettes are in the wash or just missing, I could pop on this and be comfy all day and also feel held in and held up and that my boobs aren't like sitting down here. So something like this can just be an easy day-to-day -day kind of top or bra for you too. So let's move on to the pants. So these are actually a little different from the pink ones. These actually have pockets. So I didn't remember ordering, you know, a pocket legging because I they are a little bit more expensive, but I guess I was feeling like a Monopoly man, so I got pockets on these. Um, they are a little shorter than the other ones, but I knew that going in. These are the XL short. They hit me above my ankle bone. I would say an inch or two above the ankle bone. Um, so if you like a shorter legging, go for the short. My measurements are all in the description box below, but I am five foot eight for reference. But like the pink ones, I think these have a great waistband. This hasn't moved. It's not digging into me. It's very comfy, laying against the skin very nicely, but I don't feel it. So um, we'll do a squat test again, but very opaque black, which is great. It's not rolling down. It has stayed where it has to be. So again, these get the seal of approval and they have pockets. So these will be a nice everyday legging for me and a gym legging. So I'm all around very happy with my Abercrombie activewear finds. Again, I think I spent total like 140 on five items. I can't count, but I think it was around five items, right? Um, so I think I did good. Like I said, I extreme couponed. There's always an extra 10 or 15% out there. You will find it. So we'll move on to Lululemon. A couple months I found the We Made Too Much sales section of their website. A couple times a year, things are so deeply discounted that I got these exact leggings in blue and they were $19. So I've been on the hunt ever since for the $19 leggings and it just wasn't happening. It's been, you know, a while. So I was like, okay, I will shell out maybe, you know, 50, 60 for these leggings. Um, so it finally happened where these were, I think $60, still a splurge, a very big splurge, but I have these in blue. They are my most reached for spin pant. So I knew I was going to wear them a lot. Um, and I really liked this cranberry color. So these are the Base Pace HR Tight in 25 inches. That's what I have the blue in. I paid 60 for these. I paid 19 for those, but like still all together, less than what these would normally go for. So I consider that a win. I got these in a 16. If they don't have your size, Lululemon runs big, so you can size down. So I could have gotten these in a 14. I have a lot of other, not a lot, two other <laughs> Lululemon items in a 14. Um, you will be fine they run kind of big. So these are in a 16, we'll pop them on. So what I like about these is that they're extremely lightweight without feeling flimsy. Like I still feel held in, nothing crazy compressive, but I know these aren't gonna move. Very high waist, these stay exactly where I put them during a spin class. I'm never going like this, you know, halfway through a workout, that's never happening. So once you put these on at your desired place, they're not moving. No pockets, but I knew that going into this. For my purposes with these kind of pants, again, I'm doing a spin class, so I won't need pockets at my disposal. And I do have belt bags if I need to wear these just going for a walk or something. Also very opaque, we will do a squat test. This is so unflattering, um, but <laughs> they're not moving. They're not see-through. 
pricey, yes, but if you do the made too much section and keep an eye out on that, I think you can find a winner. They did have a lot of other patterns. There was $19 ones, but they were like galaxy print and I just want something plain. But if you stop the website, you will get a winner at some point. And these are the 25 inch inseam and I would say these come about two inches above my ankle bone. So that's where 25 inches would land you if you're around my height. So yeah, these are kind of a splurge, but what isn't gonna be at Lululemon? But I've had my eye on these for probably six months now and I love the blue ones so much. I wear them all the time. They still look brand new. So I knew I would love the maroon ones and I wanted specifically maroon, um, so. $60 in the grand scheme of things, knowing how often I'm gonna wear these, like my cost per wear is probably like a dollar a wear. Okay, finally, Valentine's Day is coming up and I did get a package from Rose Forever New York, Fragile. I have so many bouquets from them and I keep saying in every video, I want a lilac or a purple bouquet. And I finally went for it. I also went for a white marble box. I have a lot of the black velvet boxes and then in my latest bouquet um the dome let me get it the dome came in this white box and it is so gorgeous like this looks so classy to me and I just love the contrast between the white and the rose and I just think it goes it fits my room very well. So when I was picking my new bouquet, I knew I wanted a white box. I noticed they had white marble. They also had black marble. So whatever fits your color scheme the best, but I knew I wanted to go white. I, I haven't opened this yet. We're going to have the big reveal. They did have a vibrant purple and a lilac. I went for the lilac. So, <gasps> ooh, cute. I'm so happy with this. Um, I have red, I have white, I have yellow, I have pink, but this has not evaded me because I've had choice this whole time, but I've wanted this for, oh my God, it smells so good. I've wanted this for a while and it just, it's so pretty and I'm very happy I went with the white box. I think the contrast is really cute here. So they do have a ton of colors and designs. I did notice heart-shaped boxes for Valentine's Day. There's still time to order if you want to get it for Valentine's Day. Also, they're doing a huge Valentine's Day sale, but I'm basic and not in love, so I just went with a square. These are real roses. A lot of people see these in my room and like think I got this at like TJ Maxx or you know, Michaels or something. I always say I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how they do it. I think there's like a specific oil, I don't know, but they are real roses. They last for over a year. There's some in my room that I've had for about three years now, still kicking. A little dusty because I'm a mess, but they're still alive and well, not wilted, not crumbling, like fully, I don't want to say moist, but that's what they are. <laughs> so these make a great gift. They make great home decor. I need to find a clean surface in my room. That's going to be the hardest part here. And naturally, I'm going to hook you up with a discount code. So you can use code SHANNONM25 for $25 off your order. Yes, these are a little bit of a splurge, but they are going to last you over a year. It says at least a year, but if you look around my room, they are still kicking many years later. So everything mentioned or featured in this video will be linked down below. Any coupon code I can find will be down below. My links are down below. It's all there. More cruise vlogs coming. I'm in full accountant mode, so I have to go to work like right now. So I'm doing a lot of accounting right now, but like the vlogs will come eventually. There's probably about three or four more, so. Look forward to that. I'm just losing my marbles doing spreadsheets. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.